Check that as soon as it sells. 430 Bowman Inception is still not sold out yet. We're about to hit 430 right now. Still 17 teams left in Bowman Inception. A box half case. Saints, Falcons, and the Panthers. All right, what's going on, everybody? Conrad here from MojoBrave.com for new release Wednesday, March 29, 2023. We're doing our first break for the afternoon night schedule of bricks. It's going to be another four box, four hobby boxes of brand new 2022 Panini Contenders football on release day. This is uh, four box PYT3. And these are the last remaining four boxes from the case that we opened up earlier for number one and two. We got this one, K. Fisher grabbing the Cardinals, Texans, Browns, Ravens, and Jaguars, WIW Falcons, D-Bout Bills, Justin W. Panthers, Mike T. with the Bears. Cali Hogg with the Bengals, Mike T, Cowboys, Chiefs, um, Matthew L, Broncos, Robert D with the Lions, Chris J with the Packers, Trini with the Colts and Eagles, Ryan A, Ch uh, Chargers, Matthew L, Rams, Dwayne P with the Dolphins, Q1, Vikings, J Mass with the Patriots, Bama 43, Saints, Shazzy with the Giants and the Jets, Ryan G with the Raiders, Scarlet 49ers, Steelers, K Fisher, Seahawks, Q1, Buccaneers, Dudley with the Tennessee Titans, and Washington football team, Commanders, picked up by Info Apex. We did double sell the Saints Moses Little. Um, I, I avoided all your credit card transactions, so it should not it should just fall off your card. Um, the Saints owner was again Bama forty three with order number ending in one two one. Good luck, everybody. All card chip. Obviously, you will get all your base cards, <coughs> and we will have more contenders football later tonight too. We have two more py. T Actually, we have a random that we're still trying to fill up right now. Nine spots left in the random, and we also have another two. Four box PYTs for later, later tonight, towards the end of the night um, on the schedule. And of course, we have the big double case contenders honors 22 box double case of contenders and honors football for the end of the night, tiered random style. Good luck, everybody. Contenders football, generally one of my favorite football products every single year. It, it's kind of like a nostalgic thing for me, too, because um, I've been back in the hobby since 2012 ish. Um, I started doing breaks in 2014, not with Mojo Break. I was doing breaks um, on my own. And Contenders was one of those. I started breaking January 2014. I think that was my first break. It was a basketball product. But I think Contenders generally comes out in that uh, con January, February. And um, this is one of the first products that I opened up as my own group breaker. So I always have a soft spot for it. And generally, I think contenders on card autos are probably the best on card autos you can get in for football. I am in the and I and I know there's people that don't like contenders. I mean, uh, you know, there's a there's a, I, I've, I've known them since 2014. There are people that do not like contenders, but for me, contenders it, it really feels like one of the like the staple football products and the staple football rookie autograph you want to get if you're collecting a rookie. <clears throat> okay. These dual cards, unless it's numbered, as always goes to the left side team. Left side team, we'll get those. First auto is a Jalen Pitry. That is a championship ticket. Four out of 49 Jalen Pitry for the Texans. Houston. Texans in the break. K. Fisher. Hmm. 
rookie of the year. I mean, obviously, a lot of the um, the love contenders comes from the fact that it's Tom Brady's biggest rookie card. That probably helps out a lot, right? But, yeah. Specifically, I always feel like this contender's rookie ticket um, is always one of my favorite rookie autos every year. Yeah, and I consider, like, the obviously the regular and the cracked ice super crazy. Chris Hadouken got traded to the Chiefs, getting going after the Chiefs. I had no idea Chiss Hadouken was on the Chiefs now. <laughs> Chiefs. Mike T. Round numbers, same thing. Um, if it's an up and down card, it goes to the top team under our rules. It's a supernatural insert, Aiden Hutchinson. It's a pretty nice looking insert this year. Generally, uh, contender inserts are kind of like throwaways, but that that's, that actually looks pretty nice. Auto for the Raiders. That is a Darren Butler, Darian Butler, rookie ticket. The Raiders. Raiders and break Ryan G. Power players, left side team in that one. Jalen Thompson, but you know I've been ripping, I've been ripping contenders so long that there are like I, I've known so many guys like in like n regular hobby guys, you know, like longtime collectors that still, even though they know that Tom Brady's contenders rookie ticket is the most legendary rookie card, um, they still don't like the design. They just never. I know a lot of people that not a lot of people, but I know some people that just don't. They don't like the whole like ticket stub look of the cards, and they never have. They are Munford. Rookie ticket. Like, I wouldn't be surprised this week if we have somebody come in the room and be like, I don't understand why Contenders are so popular. Like, I don't like the design, which is fair. You know, not everybody likes the same thing, but you're wrong, but not everybody likes the same thing. Rookie ticket, they are Munford. Ticket stub. <laughs> Robert Griffin, admit one. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Washington. Yeah, had no idea. He's been in. He's been a stealer in like almost every single product except this one. Contenders generally is the product that they update all the rookies though, to put them on their correct team that they were actually signed to for majority of the year. 20 of 25. That's a Jalen Hurts game day ticket. That's a nice looking insert, actually. And the first on card is a variation. Hassan Haskin, Tennessee Titans. Rookie ticket variation. Hassan Haskin, horizontal. Damn, the horizontal crack dice must look sick in person. Tennessee Titan Dudley, Dustin. Hassan Haskin on card variation. First auto on card. We got one more auto coming up here. Towards the end of the stacker. And that's a. Whoa. Veteran playoff ticket. Playoff ticket foe show. Trini with the Eagles. Box number two. Seven left on the random teams, everybody. For the random team.
Philly boys, we fly. Philly boys, we fly. Everybody box two. Probably think we'll grab some more top loaders eventually here. Power players. Smash mouth. Curtis Hodges for the commanders. Rookie ticket. Curtis Hodges. Commanders info. Mr. Info Apex. <clears throat> Round numbers going top team Saints. Oh, love it. Jashan Corbin. What is this? That's a new parallel with the Raider rookie all over or the rookie logo. That's pretty tight. That's pretty tight. Showcase ticket. Damn. New York Giants. Is that Shazzy? You got Shazzy? Deshaun Corbin. Damn, that looks nice. Did they show you the full video? Pretty cool. It's like a, this is a new parallel this year. It's like a blue. See how like the rookie logo all over oh, it. That's crazy. They never did this before. That's cool. Though. Yeah, yeah. Did it? Did they show you the whole video of like him going crazy? No. He was like telling the dude to like pull up. Like I'm oh, gonna I'm gonna come to your house and all that stuff. <laughs> all this sh like come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie George. Oh, we got a, is that Kicker Mojo? Rookie, Ryan Stonehouse for the Titans. Nice. The other, the other cool thing, I know I know a lot of the guys probably know, obviously are not worth as much as the, the top names, top on-card guys and all, like parties. And, but the cool thing about contenders is you will get rookie autos of nearly everybody that was a rookie for all the teams. So if you're just, like, really, if you're just, like, you know, want to get your – you're a team collector. You want to get those rookies that don't. They're not going to be in any other product for the entire year. They're only going to be in contenders. I, I always thought that was a cool aspect of contenders as well, how they include everybody on the on the rookie checklist. I mean, it makes sense, right? That all blue, the all rookie logo. That's like a popular thing to do now. Like the all over foil. Like it was popular when Tops did it for their uh, Tops Chrome. Everybody went crazy for that one. A Caleb Evans for the Minnesota Vikings rookie ticket. Minnesota Q1. All over print. It's popular. Legendary Deion Sanders, prime time. Supernatural Joshua Allen. Buffalo. Ezekiel Elliott, base to 199 playoff ticket. Zeke. Hey. How about some second and last team mojo? Congrats, Saints. Bama 43, Chris Olave on a card. That's it. Chris Olave rookie ticket on card. Power players. 
and a Malcolm Rodriguez for Detroit rookie ticket for the Lions. Malcolm Rodriguez. It's going to be Lions and Robert D. Winning ticket of Patty Mahomes. Not even that good, but, you know, Patty Mahomes. No bias. All right, box number three. I'm going to have to go grab some more top loaders here in a second. Rodriguez. Oh, the other thing I should mention, as some of you guys might know, for a long time, if you've been in the hobby for a while, some of you, if maybe this is your first time buying into contenders. Uh, so, Panini will short print a lot of guys that you won't even know about. Because that reminded me, because you said it was the first Malcolm Rodriguez. And he might not necessarily be an SP short print, but Panini will um, will take a lot of names from the autograph checklist, and then some guys are short printed compared to others, right? So some names you'll see over and over and over and over in contenders, as you guys will see as the weeks go on and we rip a lot of contenders. And then some names you won't see as much. Those are the guys that are probably short printed, and Panini doesn't release the the list of short print autos like until a few weeks after the product comes out. Actually, I think they released the SP list in waves. So, like, they'll tell you a little bit at a time which guys are short printed. So, it's another chase element to if you're chasing certain rookies. It could be sticker. It could be the rookies that have sticker autos. It could be the guys that have on-card autos. You never find out until, like, a few weeks after release or a month after release fully which guys are short printed and which ones are not. All right, first auto for box three is a rookie ticket Armani Rogers for the Commanders. Washington Commanders info. So yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of things to like about contenders, from them from them including all the rookies that are not going to be included in any other product, to the fact that like those short print guys won't tell you for a while. But you can kind of tell if you watch enough contender breaks over the span of a week or two, like which guys are probably short printed. Because you will see a, a lot of the same names over and over. The Marvin Lil for the Steelers, Scarlet. Yeah, there's different levels short print, super short print, super, super, super short print, super, 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 super short print. And impossible. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't think there's an impossible tier, but. We got uh, Tanner Connor for the Miami Dolphins rookie ticket. Tanner Connor. Miami Dolphins Dwayne. I got to go get some top loaders. I'll be right up.
Dolphins rookie on a top loader. There he is, Tanner Connor, Miami. There's another winning ticket, Patty Mahomes for the Chiefs. Patrick. That's going to be a Alex Wright for the Cleveland Browns. Alex Wright. Are there are there vertical variations this year? Because in years previously, you can tell which one was a variation, which one wasn't, depending on if the helmet was on the front or the team logo was on the front. Well, obviously the Browns team logo and helmet is the same card, because um, that's just that's their logo. But I know we hit that horizontal variation, but there's probably both, right? There's probably a vertical variation and a horizontal variation. It's probably both, actually. Just answer my own question. Why? What shirt? You've been wearing a jacket, bro. For a royalty in the sports card hobby. Where, where the hell did you get that from? I have no idea. I found it like when I was like off to church and all that. Here, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm keeping that. And here's a speaking of the Cleveland Browns, David Bell variation, horizontal David Bell. So maybe that is the very maybe the horizontals are the variations only, or. Maybe someone can answer that if they've been watching some contender breaks today. Because that is different from the regular helmet logo. It's like a modern helmet. On card for Cleveland. The Browns. K Fisher. No vertical variation. Okay, so alright. So there's no there's no there's not even any reason to like have to look out for those variations for verticals and good to know. Jordan Davis Philly, cracked dice. Always nice. 17 of 22. Rookie ticket cracked ice, Jordan Davis. God, these are beautiful. They've never not been beautiful, though. So. Love it. Philly? Trini? Philly having a good break. Got that Jalen Hurts, too. That Jalen Hurts probably an on-card, that veteran ticket, if I had to guess. All right, last box of the break for PYT number four, uh, number three. Sorry, PYT three, closing it out. Again, we do have more four-box PYTs of contenders later tonight. PYT four and five will be going down way later tonight towards the end of the schedule for today. We also have that double case, 12 boxes of contenders football, 10 boxes of honors football, double case. Random tiered for the end of nights. And we're still trying to fill up the four box random, which currently has only three spots left now. I think I actually prefer that, right? For them to do the hor the variations as a horizontal rather than making the variations also vertical. Because they could easily make a vertical variation and then make a regular horizontal ticket and then also make a variation. They could easily, like, double their production, like, make more cards. But, you know, at the same time, as I'm saying this, I'm like, they are limited by the autos they can get from these rookies as well. So it's not like they can print an infinite amount because they'll run out of autos to put on the cards. Dude, I remember there were some years of contenders football that there'd be like no horizontal, but they would have like three variations of rookie tickets of three variations of like vertical autos.
Micah McFadden for the New York Giants. Another one of those blue all over rookie. All over blue foil. These are pretty fire though. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So there is two different versions of vertical and horizontal, I'm assuming, too. Maybe with the photo variation. That's right. They do. They also do photo variation. So they do make more than just one version of the vertical ticket, which I, I mean, I already assume that. But Supernatural. Do, 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 do. Or maybe there is there one very one vertical rookie ticket and then there's two variations. That's horizontal. Hey, wait, is the showcase a different uh, picture? Do they use a different photo for the showcase versions of those rookie tickets? Here's a Jerome Ford for Cleveland rookie ticket. Browns. Jerome Ford. K Fish. Aiden. All right, last on card should be coming up here soon. Lamar Jackson MVP insert parallel 71 of 99 for Baltimore. Sauce gonna Jets Shazzy. 42 49, 42 out of 49 championship ticket Sauce Gardner. Not the offensive guys, but on card champ ticket. Grass Shazzy. Sauce Gardner, 42 of 49 championship ticket parallel on card. Saucy. Gladiators insert. Here's a Sh Khalil Shakir rookie ticket Buffalo. Bills debout. Sh Khalil Shakir rookie ticket. You're welcome, Shazzy. Cooper Cup. And a Chris Hadouken closing this out for the Kansas City Chiefs. Man, you know, if you ask me, man, Chris Hadouken, he should be starting over Patty, man. I just think, I just think, give the boy a chance, man, you know. He's got to be, he's got to be better than Patty. <laughs> All right, that was it, everybody. PYT, pick your team number three, brand new contenders hobby football for release date March 29, 2023. All card chip, you will get all your base. Congrats, everybody. They got a nice auto. Let's see where the rest of the breaks are at today. Last I checked, there was three left in that contenders random. Only 16 left now in Bowman Inception. A box half case. Got Bowman Sterling random teams. 17 left in the Bowman Sterling. Contenders random teams is sold out. Sweet. So let me set up that random real quick. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, Only 10 left in Bowman's best for 5.30. 10 teams left, full case Bowman's best.
What more can I say?